Hey friends, we are making shortbread cookies today. Extra easy recipe with a few fun mix-ins. You can really go your own way on it, but I'll show you mine. We're gonna combine butter and eggs in a mixing bowl. You have to use softened butter at the room temperature, so I'm using unsalted butter. Actually, for the egg part, you only wanna use the yolk, so we're just gonna discard. Or you can use the egg whites for scrambled eggs later. Now we're gonna pop this in the mixer and blend it until it's nice and smooth. And I just use a cookie scoop. What do you call this? Cookie whisk. <laughs> Once your mixture of eggs and butter is all combined, we're gonna dump in this powdered sugar. I would start it on slow because you don't want to just get you all messy. So start slow and then increase the speed. Okay, now we're gonna add salt to the mix. And then in small parts, we're gonna start adding flour. Just a little bit at a time and mix it in on slow and then just crank up the heat. Not heat, the speed. <laughs> I like to split the dough into two different parts and I like to add craisins and walnuts to my dough. It adds extra flavor and texture, but you can really pick whatever you want to add. You can add any of your favorite nuts or any other mix in. If you weren't splitting the dough, you can actually do this part by using just the KitchenAid mixer. I am using my hand because I have two different bowls here. So I'm gonna add in walnuts first. And then we're gonna add the craisins in. We're gonna place our dough onto a plastic wrap and just roll it up and shape it into a log and let it sit in the fridge for about an hour. It needs to get cold and right after that, we can start baking it. So just roll it up like this, tighten it, roll it up more so it's all nice and tight. We're gonna slice up the shortbread cookies into about a third of an inch. You want them to be all the same size because they'll bake evenly. Um, I like to go a third. You can go a quarter or a half. It's really up to you. Now we're gonna pop them in the oven at 375 for 10 minutes. This part is totally optional, but what I like to do once the cookies are baked, dip them into chocolate and then sprinkle some walnuts on top and it just kind of elevates them, makes them so beautiful. And you can really do any of your favorite chocolates here, any of your favorite toppings, it's really up to you.